Hello, this is Baby Builder 88, and today um, I just wanted to say um, if my mic sounds a little strange, it's because, well, my my actual professional mic is, uh, well, it, it wore out after all this time. Uh, it finally just started to sound really strange. Um, if you haven't seen any of my Minecraft videos, then you wouldn't know that, so that's why I'm saying this right now. Um, that for now, as far as I can tell, this is how my videos are going to sound like, but hopefully I can figure out some way to make it sound fine. And and I think it sounds fine for the most part, And, and but trust me, you do not want to listen to it when I'm using that mic because now it just sounds all poppy and stuff and oh man, I could probably even like maybe in the description or something, I don't know, I could just show you guys what episode of Minecraft you can hear what the sound of this mic sounds like because it sounds now it sounds really bad but but it sounded really good for a really long time so I'm very glad that it worked for so long but yeah we're finally playing fishings aren't we I um tell you the truth I'm sorry that it's been so long and and I'm just sitting here talking right now just not even playing the game I just want to say this just because um well it's like, I I haven't had much time to make console game videos, and and plus I think I probably needed to take a little break from Fishing Zert Weed, just, there's there's certain games where it's like, I really love them, but I need, I need, just need little breaks, um, every so often. But yeah, I think, as far as I can tell, I think I saved myself at Panis Jungle to try and catch Teraspis. That's what I'm going to try to do this episode. If we're not there right now, then maybe we're in Malam Jungle. I, I'm not sure where we are. <laughs> um, because I actually did this a while back. I actually recorded something. And it's literally nothing. Don't worry about it. Because it's just me for a couple hours waiting to see if there's a whale shark that would appear. And the whale shark never popped up. So... Um, yeah, so if, if you guys could tell me anything about that whale shark, because I have, I've gotten the whale shark on my main save file many years ago, um, but, but I just do not, I don't remember, um, like, because I thought I went to the right place, yeah, I'm in Panos Jungle, so, but yeah, I thought I went to the right place, um, like the right submarine tour and it did not work just like it would not work I I sat there for about three hours and not a single whale shark popped up so oh well I was just looking for Teraspis on there just in case we could get extra points but I guess we don't need it um anyway it's been a while since I played this but oh man maybe I should have Maybe I should have actually, like, tried to, I don't know. Anyway, I was thinking maybe I should do midnight fishing, but let's see. We got, is this really all we need? I don't even remember what we need. I think quick hitter may be fine. I guess it is? Okay. Anyway, let's just see how far we can make it with this. Um... I think I've already shown in an episode at least how to catch a Teraspis, and I'm probably, if I'm doing this wrong, I am very sorry. Um, I may skip to the point where I'm actually at the, um, yeah, I think I'll probably skip to that point where I'm actually at the island. And we have finally made it. Yeah. There's the hummingbird. I see you, hummingbird. Okay, anyway, so, let's see. Yeah, it's just been a really long time since I've played this game. Um, but yeah, I, I also want to say, I do not get very political in these videos for a reason, because it's supposed to be about the game. But since this is my most viewed series, I just wanted to just quickly say that, in my opinion... Well, sure, this, this could be an opinion, or it could also be fact, actually, because the truth is, the only problem 
in people in general, the only problem we have are the haters. If there's a hater, then that's why we have racism, that's why we have sexism, and the list goes on and on. All because of haters. So just saying, just avoid haters. That's all I'm saying. I'm not talking about anyone specific because I am, I've met plenty of people who are haters who are sick. Just sick. So anyway. Anyway, let's get back to the game. <laughs> so yeah, you go in between these two islands and you potentially have the chance of catching a Teraspis. And I have no idea if we're going to catch it um, anytime soon. Um, because there is a lot of fish that are, um, we're just going through the island. <laughs> but there's a lot of fish here that are really tiny and easy to catch. Like armored catfish and the tetra. Cardinal tetra. Lovely. Is that actually a fish? No, I couldn't see it. What is it? Yeah, it's moss. Okay. <laughs> I can't even see it. Are you kidding? We're still getting new catches of kelp? A wild water weed. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. How wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ecologist complete? Are you kidding? Got mustache glasses. So that means that we have collected all the trash items. Is that what it means? That's pretty cool, if that's what it means. Wow. So that actually does count for something. I didn't even know. <laughs> I am not aiming very well. Um, I think this would still work as a good place, but yeah. I'm actually catching this fish. But it's, it's pretty hard. Hello, armored catfish. <laughs> New record. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I, I most likely did. Oh, cool. We got an S. That's nice. Um, but yeah, I most likely mentioned this already. It's just that Teraspis lived during the Devonian era, which is um, it's during the same time as Dunkleosteus. So that's why it's an armored fish because a lot of fish at that time, for some reason. Got a lot of armor plating so that they could fight against each other or something. There, there's a lot more survival going on at that point of life. A lot of massive creatures. Um, primarily the 50 foot long Devonian Dunkleosteus. Um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I, I just wanted to say that, um, well, <laughs> my, my bandy cam stopped recording my voice um, when I caught Teraspis. But here's the footage of me catching this prehistoric fish, and here's my voice, so I guess nothing's lost. Um, <laughs> but it just stopped at 34 seconds of recording. It stopped in its tracks and didn't even let me know. I was looking at it. For a long time, and it still showed that it was recording, yet somehow it only picked up 34 seconds of audio. So that baffles me, because it doesn't make any sense why that would happen. So, anyway, there is Teraspis being caught. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to be of me talking, because I, I haven't... Yeah, anyway. So, 
Anyway, if, if I'm not done catching it by now, then here it is. And here is Teraspis in the yeah. journal. So, just showing. Here it is. It's a pretty wild fish that lived with Dunkleosteus in the Devonian era. Pretty cool. That's my remote buzzing in the background, so obviously. Um, yeah, anyway. Doesn't matter. See you guys very soon. We're going to try and catch Clematis. Hello, oh, we're back in Milan jungle, and guess what? Um, well, here we are. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, we're here. Uh, there's guppies, there's... Oh my gosh. We're gonna need to catch the polymeteris. Poly... Poly... Terrace. It's a poly terrace. Alright, also... For some reason, I keep calling it the Clematis. It is not the Clematis. It, at least it's not pronounced that way. It's the Clematius. Um, obviously, there's no N in there. I don't know why I keep thinking it's the Clematis. Ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna go right here just because of one reason. Um, I uh, I kind of want to just start it off a new day. And I could have done this off camera, but I just wanted to emphasize that you can do this even though I've done this so many times I know oh oh are you kidding I guess I've never done this before travel master completed whoa VIP card cool that's cool got the Panagapin VIP card what does that mean? Does that mean our card changed color or what? No. Still the same rank. But yeah, now we've been to all the hotels. Cool. Um, but what I need to do is, um, in order to catch a Clemat... Well, yeah, I was about to say Clematis again. In order to catch Clematius, um, you need um, rainbow regular, so hopefully you have a lot of money, um, because this stuff is fairly expensive, and I don't want to get too many, but I think 20 is a safe bet, um, I may not get much at all with 20, but you never know. Yeah, we're changing the tackle, because, yeah, like, this should be fine, this should be fine, but we need to use this. Sorry for my creaky chair. I was listening to a... God. Okay, you know what? I don't... I don't know... Would that other chair be less creaky? 
Because this chair is really creaky. And I really like this chair, but it's really creaky. And I, I was hearing that when I was re-listening to the recording. It's just really creaky. <laughs> um, yeah, but let me just show you guys where the location of this fish is. Um, so yeah, it's mainly the tiny fish that... So I'll, actually, let me just say it right now. Mark the Martian. Mark the Martian is the guy that you should go to if you have trouble with specific fish. And I mean, my videos, they can help too, as well, but he's, he's the one who kind of actually showed me how to catch some of the fish, um, some of the really rare ones. I'll tell you, like, literally he, I, I don't know him personally, but the fish that are the really rare tiny fish are the ones that he's helped me catch. But all the big ones, all the really big ones, like white sturgeon, Hyneria, um, Dunkleosteus, Selicoptrian, that was before he posted videos. I made, I caught those a while ago. So I, I knew how to catch those fish, but yeah. But he was saying you should cast nearby the geese. That's where um, Clematius is. And I have actually seen a Clematius swim by once. So, so trust me, this one at least you can actually see when you're fishing for it. But we caught a guppy! A platinum guppy! It's even better! We caught a platinum guppy! Oh, that is cool. Okay. So that's a fish that we haven't caught before. As far as I can tell, my bandit cam's still recording. And Elgato is too, so we're set. I'm gonna move in a little closer just so that we can try to see what we are trying to catch. But yeah, anywhere nearby these geese. I should probably be casting closer, but I think this should be fine as well. This really should be fine. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be catching a lot of stuff that is not Clematius. Um, so just keep that in mind, just like Terastis, we caught a ton of tetras and stuff like that. We caught kind of another platinum guppy, got a new record, lovely. <laughs> so uh, obviously platinum guppies are not rare. Interesting, we caught total caught rank up. Cool. Lovely. Anyway. Um, now we're going past the geese. We're not actually making it into the Canada geese. Canadian geese. And that's, that's the funny thing though. Why are there Canadian geese in the middle of the jungle? I mean, maybe this isn't that dense of a jungle, but seriously, why are there geese right here? <laughs> of all the birds, they put geese in the jungle. I guess technically they could live here, but it's just kind of bizarre. You'd expect something more like a flamingo or something, you know? And a goose? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's probably a lot of, like, Amazonian geese, but they have specific coloring and stuff, you know? And we got our lovely wild water weed, as far as I can tell. Is that a wild water weed? Yeah, I think it is. Lovely. Wild water weed. Fourth one. Here we go. Oh my god. I like I obviously already was like reeling it in and stuff. We got a beta. A beta fish. Awesome. But yeah, I'm just i I'm like sometimes I try to sync up the video and in the middle of the video I am late to the reaction of the actual thing. So so I I sync it up wrong. <laughs> which is why I'm never very good at syncing up audio with video, especially if the audio is slightly off from the video. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it's just it's so strange. I don't know why I do that. Um, but yeah. What do we got? All these birds flying around this area. Oh. Okay. We caught a beta, we caught a platinum guppy, and we catch a normal guppy. Man, this is a clunky one. I, I say that so much. 
Oh, what do we catch? What did we catch? Butterfly fish. Yay! Butterfly fish. Awesome. Another new catch. Who knows how long I'm going to be here trying to catch this fish. But no matter what, it's going to be the last fish of tonight. I can tell you that. I'll catch the rest of Malam jungle fish tomorrow or something. Got an S beta. That's awesome. And, and I was not complaining about the smoke. I hear people all around me complaining, complaining, complaining. They're not thinking about what they have. It annoys the heck out of me. Because we were so fortunate that we're not dead. Crazy. There's plenty of people have died. New catch! We got a guppy! <laughs> that's, that's like, that's gonna be in the video, I know that, because I just got that guppy. <laughs> Plenty of people have died. And, here's a guppy! <laughs> Like, seriously, you can't claim a single thing. Is when you're dead, it's gonna go away into the abyss of the beyond. At some point, you, yourself, like literally just, at least your body. Like, if we're astral spirits controlling these bodies, then that's one other thing. But, but yeah, this, this biological carbon-based life form that we're operating is just gonna phase away into earth and nature and nature is not just earth nature is the beyond it's everything even altered nature that's still nature so as polluted as we create this earth to be just know that there's more than one type of are you kidding oh <gasps> i wasn't even thinking about it i was just reeling it in my gosh! I'm just talking about random concepts about the beyond and stuff, and I catch a Clematius? I don't even... Wow. Well, we're done. We're done. That's amazing. I didn't actually... You know what? I think I'm gonna maybe catch some more fish tonight. Like, maybe this will be the end of this episode, but I may start another episode tonight. Oh, man! That's it. We caught all the prehistoric fish except for like the really big ones that are in the ocean. We just did it. <laughs> That's amazing. We caught a Clematius. I mean, it's an E, so that means if we ever decide to do rank and stuff, we'll have to catch another one. But I, to tell you the truth, I do not care. You can go catch rank as much as you want. You can go get a fish and try and catch S rank fish as much as you want. I am gonna go do my thing because I I truthfully think that I should just like literally I just caught water weed and then I caught this. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> well there you go. You did it. <laughs> We got two prehistoric fish really quickly, actually. That was like an hour. That, like, to tell you the truth, that that's really quick for prehistoric fish. I think it, it probably felt a lot faster, though, because I was talking so much. There's been so much I wanted to talk about, and that I haven't really been able to focus on much when I'm playing Minecraft and stuff, because... Well, I'm focused on Minecraft, and, and speaking of which, I still need to make more Minecraft videos because there are, well, of course I'm going to make more Minecraft videos, but there are some stuff that um, I have fresh in my mind that I should cover, but we're, we're playing Fishing Star Wii right now. I shouldn't even think about that right now. So we got a guppy. So we caught a guppy. Um, so we, we already, I already showed off that we caught Teraspis, even though my audio cut off. We got the guppy right here. And then we also got our platinum guppy. 
That is awesome. Platinum guppy. Uh, we got our butterfly fish. <laughs> Hopefully I can... I wonder how I'm going to get this in the thumbnail. Because I'm going to need to make sure that this does not get cut off or anything, you know? So, got the butterfly fish. And we got the beta. Oh my gosh. These tiny fish have such big models on this. Because they're such... They're like really detailed, especially compared to the big ones. They're a lot more detailed, which is kind of funny. Well, well, actually the big ones and the small ones have the same amount of detail. It's just that the small ones are more compressed, so it looks like there's more detail. Um, but yeah, we got, we got guppy, platinum guppy, butterfly fish, got the beta. What am I doing? Darn it. Okay, go back in. Now we, we're going to need to catch this. I'll probably catch the rest of Nalam Jungle um, next episode. We got, literally we have six fish to catch. I don't think that's going to be that bad at all. Um, and then we got Comadius. We got, we got the prehistoric fish of the area before actually completing this area. That's amazing. Look at that. That's the second Comadius I've caught as well. Um, I mean, in the save file, of course, it's the first one. But I've caught this on my main save file, so... I don't think I'll ever have to catch another Clematius ever again. Unless I really choose to do that again. Yeah, I I think in the future, I can imagine doing, like, Fishing Zert Wii competitions, and that would be really cool. But, um, but for the most part, that would be, like, a totally separate thing. Because this series, I just want to make it very clear that this is about catching fish. And yeah, I did do a competition once with Tay9825, and he'd probably be the main competitor I have. But I don't know if I'd be able to do a series like that very often. Anyway, Clematius. Clematius! We caught it. Just like that. We caught it. So, yeah, we're set. <laughs> we just need to catch Dyphactinus, Dunkleosteus, and um, Helicoptera, and then we caught all the prehistoric fish. Actually, what am I doing? Let me just look at the special fish. Um, so, yeah, literally, yeah, we caught, we even caught Coelacanth, so, yeah, we don't. We don't have any more tiny prehistoric fish to catch. That will take hours and hours. Instead, we can be trolling and it will take hours and hours anyway. But at least we got these tiny fish over with. So that's kind of nice. So yeah, there you go. Right, let me just angle myself. Um, ah, come on. And I swear I can do this. So touchy. There we go. Okay. Well, I look over here. Look over here myself. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. I'm going to make another video after this. Look. Look over here. Stop looking around. There's nothing to look at. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of stuff to look at, but look right here. Thank you. And Okay. Yeah, great. He's just going to keep doing that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and, and of course, what's your favorite fish? That's the question of the day that I decided. You know what? Let's do a question of the day in our video. So, so what, what's, what's your favorite fish? Hope you could tell me. That would be kind of nice, you know? A nice little question. Maybe I already did that question, though. I don't even know. I haven't done many questions of the day in any of my videos so anyway even if it is the f second or third time or i don't know i um i mean at least i i asked maybe you guys could respond so yeah and next time i'll think of some other question so yeah see you guys next time goodbye